Okay, we're going to begin. Um, good morning to you, Jason and Kampu. Uh, this is, uh, we are going to be conducting an interview for the Veterans History Project here at, we are currently at the VFW 2681 in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, it's called, referred to as a Rainbow Post. So we've done several interviews here, which is great. So thank you all for coming early this morning. My name is Susan Kahlo, and I'm with the Veterans History. I'm interviewing, contributing to the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Um, so it is always an honor to meet with you all and for you to take the time to come here and tell the story. Uh, so as we begin, um, I'd like um, to introduce Kampu and. I'll introduce you if you wouldn't mind saying your name and spelling your name. And then I'm also going to, I'm very grateful to Jason for being here to do some translations for us. So thank you, Jason. So if you'll first say your name and spell it, and then I'm going to also have Jason, Jason do the same. Okay. okay? Uh, my name is uh, Kampu Nabopasawan, K-H-A-M-P-E-U, last name is N-O-B-O-U. P H A S A V A N H. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. And will you tell me where you were born, where you grew up? Uh, I born at uh, Sawandakit, Laos. Okay. At, uh, on uh, April 2nd, 1944. Alrighty. Okay. Wonderful. So let me let Jason introduce himself. And if you do the same thing, spell your name and um, you can say something about what you're doing, but. Uh, uh, my name is Jason Kuntlangsi, Jason, J-A-E-S-E-N, Kuntlangsi, K-H-O-U-N-T-H-A-L-A-N-G-S-Y, and I'm with uh, Laotian American Society, a 501c3 nonprofit based in Georgia, advocating for Lao Americans, uh, preserving culture and history of uh, Lao Americans in Georgia. That's wonderful. In the past year and a half, I've gotten to learn a lot, and you all do a lot of wonderful things here in Georgia, so this will be wonderful to add to it. So I'll get back to Kampu. If you, would you, exp um, just to set the record, um, if you, if the, we're discussing the secret war, the civil CIA in Laos during the Vietnam War, but would you give a little information about what were you doing, you know, when did you originally go into the army or military, or what were you doing when you, what was your, when, when you were in Laos, what was what were you doing before the war in Vietnam started? Well, before the Vietnam War started, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I was two years in uh, military school, you know, like an officer, uh, candidate school for two years, 1963 to 1965. And after that, uh, the government after we uh, taken the big expedition, you know, from the school, mm -hmm. and uh, we became uh, officer of FAR, you know. Uh, so was it, was this? Excuse me. Was it? Is this with the Royal Lao Army or was yeah, it under yeah, the yeah. French? Yeah, Royal okay, Army this before when, I came mm -hmm. to okay. work for okay, USG. Good. good. And then uh, at that time, you know, that uh, Prime Minister, you know. Uh, uh, Mr. Soda Homa, uh, uh, they call the Prince Soda Homa. Oh, okay. That uh, they uh, had to order us half and half, you know. Like uh, from the first one to 50, the great, we take examination, you know. Oh, okay. And I was lucky because I get that. The bottom from the from the top from the top to the bottom, you know, and be between the fifty. I don't know what it is. So they uh, they have to come over and get me, you know, and uh, my family have fifty people, you know, take to a uh, special school, you know, and uh, we came over to Bien uh, Chieli uh, Laos and the army camp, you know, mm -hmm. and we go over there. We take. Uh, we all take uh, uh, combat uh, intelligence mm -hmm. course for three months, and then we take a uh, jump, and then uh, we go to Thailand, Pisilo, 
fish camp, a U.S. Space Force over in Thailand, you know. And we take the, we study over there and uh, uh, they call that SGU, mm -hmm. guerrilla warfare SGU, you know, a special uh, unit in there for two months, you know. So what year was this about? Uh, in 19, uh, uh, from uh, 65 to uh, uh, 67, something like that. Before you go on Six into the... the the military part, before you even went in the military, were you in school in Laos? Yeah, yeah, I was in High school. High school? Yeah. Or you yeah, uh, yeah, before that, I, I, uh, I, uh, 10 years, uh, and, uh, they call that, uh, uh, what is that, uh, elementary school? Mm -hmm. And then four years, if you go that, uh, the last one, you know, of the, of the school, you know, like a college, like a, you know, first year, second year, and mm -hmm. third year, and four year. So I take that credit from uh, 10 years, completely 10 years, you know. Okay. They call a diploma over there, from mm -hmm. high school, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then I have to take examination to that after school. Yeah, and after that, I became after, you know, the prime minister, you know, take us to work for the U.S. government, you know. And then uh, they sent us to school, you know, like a combat intelligence for two months in Vietnam and what time, and then uh, first jump, you know. For parachuting? Yeah, parachuting. Yeah. And then uh, uh, they sent us to Pisilo. To where? Uh, Pisilo, for mm -hmm. fish camp. Uh -huh. They call it fish camp, you know. Yeah, US Special Force and uh, uh, training camp in there for. Guerrilla warfare, they call it SGU, you know, and a special guerrilla unit, you know. Was this in Laos or in Thailand? No, no, in Thailand. In, in Thailand. Thailand, okay. After we finished that, they sent us back to uh, military uh, region three, you know. Region three? Yeah, region three. And they work for them. Some go to uh, military region two, some go to uh, uh, military uh, region four, but but that time, Region 4 is a. Uh, they don't have a. Uh, uh, they not set up that uh, SDU yet, you know. Okay. Maybe a year later, something like that. You know, like and was first. was your training when you were in Thailand? Who did the training? Were they was it the Thai Army or who did your who trained you all? Yeah, yeah, or Thai Army, uh, Thai Special Post, and then. Uh, uh, they call the Faru, you know, and then uh, plus uh, I make it once in there, you know. Okay. All so, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank uh, you. That, uh, they call that, uh, I know that's how they call it, they, they call the Faru, you know. Faru? P, P, uh, wait, wait. P A R U. Something like that. Camp. Special camp. Okay. A special training camp. And that was in Thailand? Yeah, in Thailand. Pizza Lolo. Pizza Lolo. Pizza Camp. Okay. Pizza Lolo. Okay. Was that something you wanted? Were you, did you always wanted to be in the Army? Or was that a choice to go into the military? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, uh, yeah, I'm happy to work for it, you know. And then after that, they sent us to... Um, to uh, military related field work there, you know, since 1965 uh, mm -hmm. to, to 1979, something like that. Mm -hmm. so, oh. uh, yeah, nine years, you know, I worked in there nine years. What is it, 1979? No, 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 wrong. Wait, wait, wait. 1965 to 19... 1924, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, so just to ask a question of Jason, if if you know the names of the places in Thailand, do you... Um, I am not familiar with um, the name in okay. Thailand, so I'm just learning about them now. Also, okay. so I'm going through my notes as well. So I'll chime in whenever 
All right. Uh, no, that's good. And and so I just wanted to say because I may afterwards we may we can clarify because it might be good to look at a map um, on some of these for spellings and but whatever. But I don't want to interrupt you. Go and was your uh, was your family other people in your family also in the military? Was your father or oh, what did your family do? Uh, my my family did serve the service to my, my brother, big brother, second brother, third brother. They all they all. Uh, they all uh, served in the service, you know. And then my brother in law, too, they still served in the service and fight, you know. And then uh, at that time, I was in the. Uh, I am a student, you know. I, I want to go to the army, you know. I don't know, but uh, I go anywhere I go, you know, they try to catch me, you know. <laughs> Put them back in the army trunk, you know, and then I take to the camp and then they push me, too. And then they all. <laughs> He showed me that uh, the army shook, you know, okay, you're a soldier, you're not like that, you know. So I had to stay away from all the time, you know, that's why I, that's why I take um, a test um, to um, up to candidate school, you know, mm -hmm. Michigan, you know. So they don't give me to, to uh, regular military and to the war or something like that, you know. <laughs> so you thought it was a better choice? Yeah, yeah, I got no choice. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, I think I'm, I want to be uh, um, I want to be a nurse or something like that, you know. But I couldn't make it, you know. <laughs> or the medical? Yeah, yeah. I want to go to school for that, you know, but I couldn't make it because a lot of war, you know. Anywhere we go, they're gonna catch you, you know. Mm. Put in the truck, army truck, and they bring you camp. You are soldier, you go to the front line, something like that, you know. Oh, it's bad. My thigh is real bad, you know, real bad. <laughs> mm. Okay. Everybody too, yeah, that by the time, you know, they could make it, you know. Even you go to school too, yeah. At night, you never go nowhere, you know. Nine o'clock, they're closed. Nobody walk around the street, you know. Because, because of the war? Yeah, yeah. They had uh, police, they had uh, policemen, they had the soldiers, you know. They get patrol all night long and something like that, you know. Mm. Can go nowhere. After nine o'clock at night, you can go nowhere. And uh, and then uh, uh, that time in 1965 to 67, you know, uh, Mr. Wall. Uh, I don't know his. Uh, Mr. Wall and uh, he got me uh, to to be leader of uh, Team Pirate, you know, as uh, uh, seventy nine people. And, and this was where was the, you were the you were assigned to lead seventy nine people. Yeah, after I uh, went after I joined SU, you know, after I went to uh, military regency, you know. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Wall got me, uh, and then he wanted me to be a leader of uh, Team Pirate. Who was that? 79, 79 mm -hmm. people, you know. Mm -hmm. Or well, that time they called it Team Pi Team, you know, <laughs> Team Pirate, you know, the name of that, uh, of that team, you know, 79 people, you know. Oh, okay, the team. So they, they are, uh, that is uh, it's not really military, you know, they are just, uh, like uh, they call it ADC, ADO, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, ADO, they call it, uh, 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 the defense, they call it, uh, auto they found the shock, you know. ADC, ADC, auto they found the shock, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ADO, they call it, uh, uh, auto they found uh, offensive. Offensive, you know, offense, offensive, like a offensive, automatic defense, something like that, you know. Okay. Yeah. So I started to ask you that. Did you do, in when you were back in school, was it taught in French? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. when, when I went to school, I learned in French, yeah, in French and uh, mm -hmm. some English, not, not the whole lot, you know, but uh, if you want to know English, you have to go to school, different school, pay the money. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> And also, I, I need to add, um, for this interview, if you want to say some phrases or if something's easier to say in Lao, 
That's, Finn? You can answer a question in Lao. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you want to. And then, I mean, just a short... You can speak English and Lao. And Jason can help. Okay. Because it's I, I understand that, that, that sometimes better. time. Yeah, I, I have him out. I have I, I want to help you out, you know. Because sometimes my tongue, you know, is uh mm-hmm. and then I got a new teeth too, you know. Oh that's <laughs> I got good. stuck sometime, you know. <laughs> <laughs> As I understand yeah. and, and, and for this one of the um, I will add at the Library of Congress, they also have a section in Lao. They have a lot of uh, a whole Lao Asian section, and so I'm going to let people speak in if when it's easier. If you if you're comfortable, you can explain something in Lao, and we can mm-hmm. try to say it in English. Okay. But um, but we can do both. I won't be able to understand yeah. it, but so I want to have some. Um, I want to be able to stop and give some explanation so that anyone could listen to this and mm. and learn. But it's yeah, yeah. nice to hear you speak Lao also. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, good. All righty. So tell me, so who, um, at this time when you went into the SGU, who was who did you report to? Uh, who gave the orders? Who gave uh, orders? I mean, Mr. Wong, Mr. Wong, uh, oh, I, I forgot his name, Mr. Wong, and uh, Tom, and uh, Rich McConnick, some two by one, man. Rich or Warren or Tom or something like that. Was it a, was it a code name, like a nickname? Cause, uh, or was it their real name? Um, that's what they always reference them to as a Tim or Ward or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, that has, that is common. That they either use a first name or a um, a nickname. Mm-hmm. So Mr. Warren uh, was uh, like, Sp- like was Spanish, but uh, but however he was speaking in uh, French, so they um, had a miscommunication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could understand that. Okay. <laughs> however, they just never told him the, their name. <laughs> Okay, that, that's good. And, and so, where were you? Where were you um, based? Like at night? I mean, where did you stay at this time? you say, Which which uh, time period are we talking about? Just when when just say when you're when. Did you, I didn't know if there was a base or where you were based most of the time, and then how did you, um, when you went with the 79 men, where were you? Oh, oh, um, I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of for six months uh, with the 79 men. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what did they do? What did, were you doing? Uh, they went like a, uh, and uh, Ho Chi Minh Trail and Road Watch and uh, like Pao Thanh Nguyen. So um, patrol. Ho Chi Minh. So uh, during the day, uh, daytime, uh, to yeah, patrol, uh, patrol the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Mm-hmm. Uh, hit by hit and Pao Thanh Nguyen hit Road Watch and. Uh, and Overwatch and uh, mm-hmm. patrol overall. Because uh, the Vietnamese will uh, travel on that route. Like, uh, uh, take care and, and it also uh, provides assistance to the American troops out there also. Did you stay there overnight? At night? You, you mm-hmm. <laughs> at night also. Day and night for six months. 
Wow. So how did you get your food? Uh, the plane would drop it. Or helicopters would bring it out or uh, drop it also. Okay. Did you, when you went to the Ho Chi Minh Trail, did a plane take 79 of you or did you go on the ground? How did you get to your Ho Chi Minh Trail? How did you travel? อ่าตอนอ่าตอนไปอ่าทางอ่าอ่าสายโฮชิเบนเนี่ยอ่าเข้าไปบ่อเลยเขาเอาหยุนบินเข้าไปบ่อหรือว่าขับรถเข้าไ
พราะว่าเข้าอยู่บนไหนเนี่ยก็เข้าอยู่บนไหนนะให้เขาแลได้งานไปหาที่ว่าเวลาบนเมลางานเนี่ยเขาถิ่มที่เขาได้เขาแลกเขาถิ่มที่เชตูเห็นไหมเป็นว่าเขาปลอดภัยเห็นไหม So they'll the radio in actually give them like that location so to avoid uh, them and actually uh, be able to hit the, the target. Okay. So purposely uh, have the radio operator always communicate. That was important. Yeah, and we're looking at a map there, so you can you know um, it will help. I'll put that. We'll include that in your in your documents. So that was um, so when you were you were. And were you also? Did you go into villages along? Were there villages along the, um, the Ho Chi Minh Trail? Ah, in the side, Ho Chi Minh. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. There are some villages along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. ผ่านนานาสวรรค์เขตแขวงสวรรค์เขตเอ็นซ่าสวรรค์เขตลงไปหอดลงไปหอดนั่นลงไปหอดนั่นสารวันเข้าหอดสารวันเข้าหอดล่าพวกเราเข้าเข้าผ่านล่าแล้วก็หอดหอดแก้วไตใช่ไหมผ่านไปยังสันนะหอดแก้วไตหอดนั่นเซาเวียดนามนะ It will it will basically fall a lot all the way down to South Vietnam so you so you went through because I know it had on here your doc that you were in military region three but You also went through different regions, is that right? Is that correct? Uh, the so MR, the the MR three and MR two. So then, ah, he be like they they zone three, but then, ah, 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 then, ทั้งกองบัญชาการของอันเอชยูนะเขาเรามาตั้งเป็นนั่นอันเป็นเชียมเป็นบอกเป็นเป็นของพันเป็นเชียมเป็นเบเทเลียนเป็นนั่นอ่ะครุบครุบอ่ามาบุครุบมันบอกบันดีเขามาตั้งเป็นสามสี่ของพันเนี่ยเป็นวันวันเชียมเขาหอกมันบอกเดี๋ยวเป็นของพันของพันลบอันนี้เพราะว่าเขาเห็นว่าแก้วเนี่ยมันรุ่ลงมันดินเท่าลงไปหอนเยอะนั่นแต่ไรแล้ว So eventually, what will happen is that although there was different zones, they eventually will have uh, form into a battalion and be basically be into the uh, uh, war fighting effort uh, to basically take on the uh, northern Vietnamese forces from there. Okay. And and just one last one thing um, to clarify too, in your battalion, were there different groups? Because I know you have the Lo Lao and the I don't know how you referred to them. Were there was everybody mixed together? You know what I mean? The different ethnic groups, or I don't know how you how do you refer to? Then, ah, the then the then ah, ah, then for S U, they are 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 เขาเขาเขาบอกเรียกว่าเราลุมเราชูไงบุญมีเขาเข้าผสมกันหมดเวลาเขาตั้งเป็นของพันเนี่ยบอกของพันเนี่ยมันมีอยู่สามสี่ของร้อยเนี่ยบอกเราคนเขามาเขาเก็บขมวดเป็นกระจายเขาบอกเอาเป็นยังเราจะมันยังขอบวชกันนะแต่ว่าพวกแมวเนี่ยตั้งหาแมวเนี่ยเขาอยู่ปอกมงเขาหอมมงเขาอยู่นะนะนะเอ็มเอ็มเอ็มอาร์ทูเกตช่องเนี่ยบอกเขาอยู่พุ่นต่างหากชนะไปว่าเขตช้ามนี่บุมีแมวไปชนะมีแต่ไปเขตช้องเขาแมวชนะ So what so when it comes to the fighting effort, um, everybody will be mixed together with La Lu La Sung. Um, however, the only exception to that was uh for MR2, which was a predominantly uh Mong, um, group uh, which was only in that zone. They kept it themselves, but when it comes to all other groups, it was everyone was all mixed together, with the exception of the monk. And, and who was the uh, general? Who was the lead when when you were when you were with the seventy nine men at, at that at that period of time? Who was the um, highest officer? Oh, uh, do you remember? Uh, well, well, no, no, no. เราเราเราเราบอกว่าเราจะไปเป็นเนื้อเป็นเป็นคนหนาถ้าเป็นตำแหน่งสูงสุดตอนนั้นอ่าได้ให้ทหารตอนนั้นอ่าตอนตอนอ่ารู้เป็นเนื้อเจ็ดสิบเก้าคนไปเป็นตำแหน่งสูงสุดในทหารตอนน
For Latvia, for for a Lao person or American? For Lao and both, if you know the other. But oh, we learn that we learn that Tan Wong, America, been who now, strong, strong, been ever seen, ah, got man, ah, Pantri Peng, Jai Jai Dong Si, Lao, been Pu, been Kap Yuhan, ah. Uh, so, um, the uh, the advisor from the U.S. uh, war. Uh, ward or wall or something of that sort. Uh, mm -hmm. The name obviously is um, obscured. Mm -hmm. And then for Lao, Punao, uh, what is it? Punao is a synthetic one, it's a country pang. Country pang. It's a major general. A major general. I'm going to go to the country of the country. I'm going to go to the country of the country. I'm going to go to the country of the country. And he was in charge of uh, Zone 3 during that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was in charge of Zone 3 during that time. And he was the one that basically oversaw the SGUs. So that was his uh, specialty. From 65 to 70. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's helpful to kind of mm -hmm. put in who the leaders were. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. So whatever... Um, so you you said you were six months out in the, oh, when you were when you were on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. How did you get news? Like, could you communicate with your family, or or did you know what was happening all over Laos, or how was communication with with you know? Um, what was happening in other parts of Laos, and yeah, did you get news or were you isolated? That's that's kind of what I'm wondering. When you were with the 79 on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, did you feel you only knew? Were you li very limited in the information that you had? ภายในในองค์การนําอาจจะเข้าคนนึงสิแต่ว่ามีวิธีได้ข่าวทางนอกในสัตว์มีคนบ่อยในไทยแล้วจากจากสบัดเนาะในแบบนอกในนอกจาก
or were they American? What? ยนทีขมายเป็นยนไทยหรือว่ายนอเมริกาหรือว่าเป็นยนทีเขามีมีขมายไว้บอกเป็นของใครบางทีมันก็บ่มีขมายเลยก็บอกได้ยากอยู่
How did did you get um, regularly paid? When you're in the army, you get paid. So with the CIA. ได้ได้ด้วยจากที่อยู่ก็ได้จะจะพวกกองทัพได้เข้าให้สองอย่างนะคือว่าคอยเป็นอะไรเงินจากกันชื่อเขาใจให้พวกอันอันนั้นเห
what did that include? ปืนใหญ่แปลว่าอย่างปืนใหญ่ปืนใหญ่แปลว่าแฮปปี้เวลเป็นปืนปืนประจําของทหารหลาบของไอซียูอันนี้มันเป็นปืนปืนประจําของ
ยังก่อนทานเอลิชเวนี่นะแล้วเป็นผู้มาขับคุมอยู่ดีสิไปขอกระแปนน้ำตาลต่อมาแต่ว่าเวลาคอยเอาปืนใหญ่คอยเอาให้เดียวเพิ่นแต่ว่าคอยโชคดีคอยยืนลุกพื้นนะคือว่าผู้ตัวนี้เองบอกคอยลงมาอยู่ในสี่นะตั้งคอยยืนในสี่นะถ้าลงมาตั้งสิบโอ้คอยพูดมาอยู่ในนี่เราก็ตายตายกันหมด But I was uh, I was blessed to be uh, alive because of the where I was sitting at because of the valley because if I if I was not in the valley I would have been dead also because casualty in that whole month in general was about 1,200. There's a whole book written on the Battle of Skyline Ridge. So you were there. Yeah, yeah, I, I was there, yeah, all the time, yeah. But you stayed safe in yeah, the valley. Yeah, stayed safe. Uh, เพราะว่าคอยบังคับปืนใหญ่ให้นะมันต้องมีบอลบอลลี่แน่นอนมันเขายิงปืนใหญ่ไปให้หมดแล้วเขาไม่ถือนะ Because I was carrying the because I'm charged with heavy weapons you have to have a a foxhole to be shooting out of and because of that that's what gave me the cover to be alive. เขายิงมามันกลายเขาเลยมันเป็นสัญญา Because whenever they shot o whenever they shot at us like oh sh uh, shoot over my head. That must have been a difficult time. บริเวณนอนแบบนี้ยามกินกับบริกินกินกับกินข่าแห่งอย่างนี้ยืนในหูในคุ้มมาแล้วบอกว่ามีโอกาสต้องไปไปก็มีเขาแห่งเลยคงจัดมากินแล้วก็ยากมันยากก็ดีบอกว่า There wasn't really much of a break and got hungry he's ate uh, dried rice and stuff like that and that's all you can do just snack and just keep your eye on uh, for the enemy So how long did that how long were you in that situation ตอนนี้ยืนได้บางทีก็หกเดือนบางทีก็สามเดือน For uh, So, for example, like how I was in h o s h i m i n Trail for six months, uh, over here I was up to three to six months over there. The Skyline Ridge. a n y Skyline Ridge. Is that MR2? The MR2. Skyline Ridge. I knew the MR2. เออไอ้มาทูเพราะว่าไปน้ำของพันธุ์จะไปน้ำเจียมไปน้ำมันเขาขึ้นไปไปไปไปลบนะก็มาเขาว่าอเมริกันมันอเมริกันไดเวอร์เซอร์นี่คือว่าไม่มีคนหนึ่งนะบอกคือนะกรมสามชิปมันบอกเดอะอเมริกันไดเวอร์เซอร์เดอะกรุ๊ปเออร์ทีเออมันมีมันมีอเมริกันคนหนึ่งกรมสามชิปเป็นนะบิลิเทอร์ไดเวอร์เซอร์เขาเองบอกมีมิชเชลบราว Brown sang by t a r a sang by t i f u m o k i Long Tian. t you want to come and meet? So Mr. Brown uh, was one that uh, advised us to go there. Uh, he was one of the CIA, the, S, the uh, case officers or a CIA advisor. Yeah, case officer and maybe CIA too. I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because they all, they all, they all soldiers, you know. And, <laughs> but uh, they, they, they don't tell me, you know. Mm-hmm. You just, you just. <laughs> You come over here, okay? That yes, sir. That that that's it. You know. You follow the orders. Okay. And then Mr. Mr. Nick, แล้วก็แล้วก็มีอะไรที่กันเพราะว่าแล้วเอาไอเอาไอปุ่นใหญ่นะเจนิคเนี่ยคนในเมกันแล้วก็เป็นซูเปอร์เวอร์เซอร์ไฟนะนะไฟนะอินสตรักชันนะอินสตรักชันแคมป์คอมเมนเดอร์นะเราเป็นทักทักนิคเนี่ย And Mr. Nick was. Was an instructor, but basically he's giving us uh, all the instructions and guidance what we needed. But we the how tang how the pipe pun yai the pipe nam puak he be open the pipe nam kong pan kong roi yo pipe nam pipe nam jam kau na pipe nam man group man na ma wo group kau. And he will be part of that mobile group and uh, go with the group. And we see kong pan de. Because those um, four groups. We don't pay nam kau tuk tuk tang kong pay the la. Kue ba tang tela tela mu tela group na hok ha hok kong. And the groups are about four, uh, four or five people, and we'll just go ahead and just uh, get, mm. get dispatched accordingly by these guys. So four groups of about four to five people. See how fun about it. Oh, 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 man, come on. Go, go, see, go, see. But, 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 And they'll go ahead, but uh, well, with the groups, they'll go ahead and arm us accordingly uh, per mm-hmm. the mission. Mm-hmm. Maybe it'll be a mortar or the heavy guns, just mm-hmm. depending on the application. So the 4.2 will be at the head quarter. The 4.2 will be stationed back. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 4.2 will be stationed back. 
Because, uh, because the range is very far that is why. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of con combat. And then, and also whenever you want to hold up any of the photos or, so when, when did it camp come to an end or for you, I mean, what was, as you were in, you said you were out for the six months, I mean, was there a change or um, I'm just trying to understand a little bit of when you were out there uh, doing road watch and, and you know, in conflict with the weapons. Um, did you know when it was going to end or um, what was ha happening? แต่ตอนนี้ส่งเขาผู้จัดการเองสิเล่าบอกว่าตอนนี้ส่งเขาผู้จัดการเองสิเล่าบอกว่าตอนนี้ส่งเขาผู้จัดการเองสิเล่า
So we always have to be ready to step into it whenever we see each other and we go right into the fighting. Mm -hmm. That's that's the role of a soldier. But not even to hunt. Amen. Let the Lord. Oh, I'm bad. Koi koi you hunt. Tang tay man tang. Jun jun leur. Koi koi you na hunt. Tang tay a chi you tang. I've been there uh, since uh, the formation of SGUs, so uh, I've been there for a while. Oh, so you were, yes, you were one of the very first of the SGU. <laughs> so he was the so he was the first one then and the uh, last one in uh, the SGUs. Probably about thirty or so. Oh, wow. So I mean, I I want you to tell as much tell as much as you want to share, but also let I want to know how to what happened at the end of the of the war or when the Americans left. Yep. เป็นเพราะว่าเอ่อว่าว่าว่าอย่างว่าอย่างพูดจากเรื่องตอนสงครามลาวกับตอนพวกคนอเมริกาทหารอเมริกาออกมันเป็นเป็นการเป็นบ
พื่อกระลุ่มลุ่งเนี่ยก็คาดไปหาพวกอเมริกาจะได้คุมพันทานชิงสีเรามิสเตอร์มิสเตอร์ยังจิมสวอตจิมจิมจิมสวอตแล้วเป็นนันตอนนั้นแล้วเป็นนันเชียมเทอริชูกับเทอริวันมีเจอร์วัสตอนนั้นอันนี้คอยถือเก็บตอนนั้นเพราะว่าไปเอาปืนใหญ่ไปยิงนะบนผู้หมอกับทานชิงไปยิงละละคนละชิงไปยุคุ้มเขาคอยไปยิงไปชีดูเขายิงมาซ้ำดูแล้วมาโรคสะบนทั้งหนาคอยบุ่มเลยนะมันเป็นสเก็ตมันถือคอยนะบอกกับกับกับโบได้นั่งเกินไปหรือแต่ว่าหักแต่ว่าเก็บเขาก็เอาขอบไปห้องหมอเอาไปยันนั่นห้องหมอนั้นซ้ำท่องอยู่ตรงแก้มคนละ So it's been a long journey to be where I'm at today because sometimes I still at night still Uh, can't sleep prior to three nights, and still can't even eat right because I'm still thinking about the time when they're at Sky Ridge where we're shooting and I'm getting deaf, uh, my ears ringing from the guns and shrapnels hitting my arms, and even if I have to crawl over to uh, advisor um, Schwartz, um, trying uh, to ask for, uh, for instructions or help. Even down to um, even firing my gun, I'll sh I'll send four down range, and they'll send three back in my way. So it's just a lot. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> And and one of the rounds, uh, the, the shrapnel from the rounds that came at me hit my sidearm that jammed up my pistol and uh, my pouch of ammo also. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I, I didn't even notice until Jim pointed it out, saying it was wrong with his sidearm. <laughs> and that's when I, I examined it and saw what happened. Oh. And, and, and Singh said, "Just go ahead and give me your old, uh, old uh, firearm. I'll go ahead and give you one." Got ruined. Well, I know that was difficult. Is in you all. ฝ่ายหอดลองกันหอดเนี่ยเดี๋ยวคนเราก็พาเขาไปห้องหมอมือนึงเดี๋ยวเขาก็มาไปห้องหมอเห็นท้องเดี๋ยวเขาก็ไ
Did you have to go to Thailand? Did you get away? F you didn't go to an education camp? Uh, then, uh, the God has come America. He uh, drop a uh, little bit. He's on the same about you, Lao. He will drop a little bit. 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 He will drop a little เราซื้อไปให้เขาเขาให้คนพักเจ็ดมือบาเนี่ยแล้วตัวเราหาวิธีหลีกหลีกมากเลยไปแล้วว่าคนไปเลยแบบเขาบอกเขาความโอ้ไม่ใช่เลยคนบุกไปหาเขาเห็นนะ so I didn't get captured and it was supposed to go to re-education camp but however I contracted malaria during that time so I went to the hospital and with that during that seven day stay I had to let her basically to go ahead and defer me to go ahead and have go to leave and put it off but however while in the hospital, that's when I made my escape and just went to Thailand from there. You escaped from the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, so the hospital was in Laos? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you escaped? Yeah, we tell you hospital, yeah. And you had to go through, how far, how long did it take you? Or how, did you go on foot? Yeah. To the Mekong, or how did you get to Thailand? Yeah, that's come land, uh, land of all couple of ball. The ball, ball, and I'm going to Kong, Kong, Mam Mang Thai. I just went to Kong, Mang Hot, Nam Kong, and Gai Ball. Oh, Nam Kong, what? About a month, you know, like, two or three weeks. From Kong, Mang Hot. Oh, the the day Nam Kong, just Nam Kong, and the day on Rio Bend, and the. So it took about two hours to cross the river. The Rio Bend, the town of Mang, went to Hamon Mai, went to Hamon Mai. One day, there was no rain, and I went there. กับมันกับเพื่อกับโบสถ์เพื่อเพื่อกับเพื่อหน่อยแต่มันเพื่อแล้วมันไม่หู้นะน้ำหัวเข้าไปในหันดึกช่วงมันไปนะแบบนั้น but 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 to escape from the hospital he I went to another spot also I didn't wait I didn't go across the river directly I went ahead and go to a lot of place where it has a lot of woods a lot of forest stuff that and cross over there through a raft that had a hole in it the raft had a hole in it yeah แล้วนะไอ้แล้วคนพอออกจากบ้านเก้าโมงเช้าเก้าโมงขึ้นคนเมืองไทยชีวิตโมง I left ไปงานตำรวจไทย I left at nine o'clock at night and made it to the other side around eleven o'clock at night Wow Were you alone Who were you with ไปพี่เดียวว่ะแล้วไปบอกแล้วไปเลยนะไปอพยพจากประเทศไปเลยนะอาจจะว่าเป็นไปพี่เดียวบอกแล้วว่าไปไปคนเดียวไปก็พัฒนาคนหนึ่งมีทหารคนหนึ่งไปนำ Him and somebody else from the army as well. But you made it out, and then how long? And then you made it to Thai to the refugee camp in Thailand. Long jan, long jan. I go to the police. They send me to the police. I'm in 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 the police. So actually, I first got arrested when I went to the other side by the Thai mil Thai police. So I got arrested first. And then I got sent to the Phnom refugee camp afterwards. And then from there they sent me to Ubon. Oh, because you didn't have any identification on you, did you? Then I will be next to you. I have ID, but I said about me. Nothing. Yes. So, but when you do a bond, they go ahead and do your identification and everything from there. So that was why you were arrested. The Thai did. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, and then you had it. You and do hold up that photo. I want you to explain the picture for me. Please. If you hold it right in the middle, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. And then when I police, who don't beat, who must take on time to use one decade M R three, nah, H U. So this is from M R Savannah Kid M R three S G U. H G U. But we have time to one. Lock the hook. Two. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. น้องสะพังนะก็ห้องดีมาใช้สามสิบเก่าแล้วก็ลักสะฮกนั่นมันชุนฟึกเขาห้องดับเบิลยูทรี
Oh, whiskey three. That's the code name for Manda. It's the Sanskrit name. Whiskey three so, is what they're oh. referred to as. Who was whiskey three? So, who did he put that? Napoleon. The first Napoli. one. Napoli. Oh, Napoli. Napoli. Liti Lisa. I'm just going to call Liti Lisa. Tali Liti Lisa. Oh, Tali Liti Lisa. Liti Lisa. So, which one? The first one on the left the is. First is one. It, is he? He's an American. He was special forces. Yes, yeah, special forces. He mm -hmm. uh, he was a commander of uh, SCU, you know, uh, the whole SCU and uh, military Russian tree, you know. But you only knew him as Whiskey. His, is that his <laughs> code name? Yeah, the code name of uh, uh, training center, you know, they call it W three. Uh huh. But his name was then, uh, Whis uh His name was Tali. 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 General, General Tali. General Tali. A, 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 a general? Brigadier, Brigadier General Tali, yeah. A Brigadier General? Yes. Okay. And, uh, 1971. Okay. And who is the person in the middle? Who <laughs> I never know him personally. I don't know. Uh, I just know of him. He's one one that oversaw everything from the north to south uh, mm -hmm. of, of the whole conflict. But he just don't, I don't know. I don't know him. He's the captain of the U.S. Uh, Special Forces. So also an American. American, yes. Mm -hmm. So he was kind of like the one in charge of the whole operation of Laos. Mm -hmm. And who's the other person? Mr. <laughs> Nick. ซูนฟึกมันเป็นนานาอันอินสตรักเตอร์อินสตรักเตอร์แคมป์นะในเวลานั้นพออยู่ซูนฟึกตอนนี้ประธานหุบจะได้คอยอันนี้ก็ไป
pictures and stuff. Uh, no, if you just turn it, I can. It ID, shows up. This is the uh, ID from the military. Oh, okay. All right, good. We'll we'll scan those. This is my two boys. What are their names? Siyan. And uh, then si Toto, 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 Siyan. Toto, and then Lefen, Lefen, L E F A N. Lefen. Uh huh. And where do they live now? In the Nikhoi side. You, you call you Michigan, brother. Michigan. Nikhoi, Nikhoi, brother. They now have their own family and everything. Another one, uh, Lino, but not here. I don't have a picture of them. Okay, this is an old uh, army picture. Oh, good. If you hold, hold that up, I'll, I will get to scan these. All right, good. This is, this is um, my wife and my daughter. However, my wife since passed already. I'm sorry. Oh. My wife. Oh. Where did you meet her? It's cool. It's <laughs> in Laos? Yeah. No, oh, good. Beautiful. I'm so sorry that. You she was her. the same school with me at that uh -huh. time. Uh, oh. After I get off from oh, well, thank you. That's the military. Uh -huh. She passed away now. She, oh. A year ago, 1922 or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did, um, um, did any of your children go in the military here? Yeah, yeah. I was in the morning, but I was in the morning. I have uh, one of them that, that uh, went to uh, went to service uh, Navy. But Navy, we were the Navy, we Oh, so he went to, he went to Pentagon. Well. Mm. So, so one of them graduated and went to uh, work in the Pentagon. Oh, wow. Yeah, but however, uh, um, his mother wasn't feeling well, my wife, so he went, ended up going back to, so he ended up going back to Detroit and watching over her. Mm. However, now that his mother's passed, we don't, he's not sure what he's going to do next. Mm. This, one. this one, he said, this one. Oh, so was he in the U.S., was he in the Army? Or just at the, no. the Department of Defense? No, he was uh, with the, uh, the Department of Defense. So he got, uh, it, he, he got to go to the Department so he, he wasn't clear on the uh, definition of what was going on, but he all he knows is that he went to Iraq for one year and came back. <laughs> okay. So so he only so he only assumed why he would go there for Iraq for one year and come back. Oh. So not really directly army, but army related. So that was while he was working at the Pentagon, or. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. However, his son still works uh, something related to the Pentagon. However, he's just now working in Detroit. But however, he's not sure if he's going to go back to you working mm -hmm. in D.C. at the Pentagon. Oh, okay. All righty. Well, thank you for that. And you do, you're a member, you do stay active with the, um, uh, oh, that's a, that's a good, those are really good pictures. I'll scan those for your file. Um, the um, but you you continue to stay active with the Lao SGU through the um, the VFW. Are you a member of the VFW? Of this? Yeah, Are you? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You all do a lot of things. So is there? Um, I mean, thank you for 
you know, sharing some of your story, and it's a period of time that we don't have a lot of clear information <laughs> from those the Lao who are here, um, and especially about the um, the SGU. So I appreciate you taking the time to just share some of your experiences. I know it's been difficult. It's been very difficult. So yeah. thank you, thank you for thank your you, service. Thank you, uh, that's something um, when I share when I share the stories, many Americans are not aware and they're very interested. So when you put all this together, it's it's very helpful. And Jason, thank you so much for. I know you're very active as well. But is there something else you want to add, or or I always like to end, uh, give you a chance if you want to just say something or mention anyone's name uh, before we wrap end up today. It's. It's your, your, it's your story, so you get to say what you want to say. อ่าครับเจ้าคําเปิดนะพระพาสวรรค์เอ่อมณีก็เป็นมือสั้นมณีของข้าพเจ้าที่อานั่งชูแชนนะมาสัมผัสเกี่ยวกับเรื่องเว
ลายเป็นชื่อที่เขาเลี้ยงมาได้แต่ความจริงแล้วข้าพเจ้าคิดว่าสิบระมาอย่างนี้แล้วข้าพเจ้าคิดว่าสิบริอันนั้ออกมาในโจทย์ทีวีแบบนี้ขึ้นว่าสิบอันยิงแคลแต่ก็จะเข้าจะเข้าสมัยไรความว่าเรื่องของความความมาปฏิทิสามหมดแล้วแต่วันนี้นี่ก็โอเคดีใจหลายที่ว่ายังมีชีวิตอยู่พอโดนน้ำน้ำนองน้ำมูลน้ำกล้องก็เห็นอะไรก็หายพยายามทักท่าภาษากันนั่นแหละก็เขาก็ประกอบใจกับท่านในภาษาพันนี้ชื่อจะไหนก็เจาะเจสันเจสันเจสันก็เขาก็จะน้ำลาที่หายเป็นในภาษาได้ช่วยแปลภาษาให้ข้าพเจ้าเพื่อให้คนได้ครับคู่ได้หูจักได้แจ้มแจ้งแล้วก็ตอนทุ่ถ่ายกับบุเมียงแล้วก็ให้ทุกคนเมื่อทุกทุกคนคนเล่าทัวโลกอยู่ดีแม่งตลอดปลอดภัยคำค่าใดค่ามาไปบุค่ามาบุคองหายอยู่ดีแม่งเบิดคอเบิดครัวเด้ออยู่ดีแม่งอ๋อเท่านั้นแล้วขอบพระขอบใจบาย thank you very much I understood everything so so thank you for this opportunity to be Interviewing me today. Um, normally, I didn't think I would be able to share my story about what, what I have endured through my life or what I have experienced. Normally, uh, people like me would normally never even make it a uh, chance to cross over the river, and they probably die by the time they cross over the river. But to be in the next country over and now be living life and be able to retell these stories is very, um, very humbling. Uh, with that, you know, I want to go ahead and give uh, respect and thank you for all those who have. Uh, fought alongside with me, as well as trained me and mentored me, as well as those who have uh, lost their lives along uh, with me and my comrades. Uh, I want to go ahead and give them a special thank you uh, for all the experiences that we shared together, as well as, uh, as well as, uh, for all those um, mentors and teachers and. May, uh, all those people have been in our lives um, to get to where we are now and f to always have the fighting spirit because the thing is that back then in Laos we were all segregated with maybe different groups and different ethnic groups but now that we're in a new country uh, there's only one Lao one uh, group of people that work together we always have to work together to always preserve our history and understand where we came from and why we're here today and now Thank you. That's that is so true and beautiful. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Kampu. Yeah. Thank you, Jason. And like I said, in the year and a half that I've had a chance to meet many of the SGU, I can tell the Lao community you're very proud of your. You can be very proud of yourself, your family, your country. You know, and and then it continues like Jason here and the the younger generation. Um, so your your voice will be it'll be at the Library of Congress forever. So um, you won't be forgotten. And I I think as the years go by, I believe, um, especially during this period, there's going to be more and more about the Lao to help explain this period of history that we have tended to lose. It's not in our it's not in our history books, but hopefully. There'll be a place for it. So thank you very much, and I'm hoping all of this. Um, it, it's because you are talking to me and and putting your sharing your story that it's really going to help um, us keep the community of the Lao Americans strong. So thank you very very much. I really appreciate it. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I, um, <laughs> ชาวบุคลีดีเราต่อไปเลยจบจบไล่ขอบใจอันชูเชนขอบใจไล่ no thank you thank you I know I'm